when we retrieved the employee information or even when we have created it, updated it or patched it, if you have realized in the response, it does not include the ID field directly. It has it in the links, but it does not include it as a part of the content directly. This is because it follows a REST principle saying that the ID should not be exposed out directly. But if we have to work around that, there is a way to do that because our clients might need the IDs. So to work around that, it is a standard. So there is, it is not an issue or a bug in Spring, but it is according to the REST standard where REST says that the ID should not be exposed out directly. So it ignores, if you go back to the STS ID, go to the employee entity, it ignores any field that is marked as ID. So it won't invoke the getter when it is, when the object is being serialized. This getter method here will not be invoked at all. To work around it, you can add another getter method right here. Public long get resource ID. Let's call it resource ID. But within that method, we are going to return the ID instead. So on the wire, when this object gets serialized into JSON, it will be resource ID, but the value of it will be the ID. Restart the application, stop it by clicking the red button and run it again. That will restart the application. Once it's up and running, you can go and try another method from Postman. It could be get or post or any other method. Change the first name to Bob. Let's execute this post method. I have simply changed Bob and the last name is still the ready. Send. And this time it has the first name has the last name it also has a resource ID now if I click on this link here which says 3 that will open up a get tab for me with employees 3 send it and in the response I now have a resource ID